Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tony G and you're watching 1526 Barbecue. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this 24-hour dry age reverse seared bone-in ribeyes. Check it out. All right, start off by getting yourself some bone-in ribeyes. Now, they're called bone-in ribeye cuz they have the bone still attached to them. All right here. The ones I got are about uh, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch thick. Nice piece of steak. All right, now to do this 24-hour dry age, you're going to want to sprinkle some salt. I'm using kosher salt. I wouldn't recommend using table salt. I think it's too fine. You're going to want to use either kosher salt or some fresh uh, ground salt from like a larger a grain of salt. Um, just put as much as you like. If you like it to be saltier, add some more. I've done this a couple times, this is the right amount for me. And don't forget to do both sides. And you're going to repeat that process for both sticks. All right, so once both steaks are salted, you're going to want to put them on a drying rack and put that over top of like uh, some sort of pan to catch any drippings. After 24 hours in your refrigerator, this is what your steaks would look like. See, they got rich red color. That shows you the salt got penetrated in. Um, you'll see that there is still some salt on the fatty parts, and that's okay. The fat won't absorb the salt, but these are ready to hit the grill. So I add a little bit of uh, fresh ground pepper to mine. You can add some garlic as well, some garlic powder if you'd like. I'm going to be smoking these for about 40, maybe 45 minutes before we do the reverse sear. And I'm smoking at 225 with hickory pellets. Alright, so just towards the end there, the 45 minutes or so, get yourself a skillet, open up your flame broil uh, slider on your pit boss. Um, if you don't have a pit boss, you can do this on your oven or over some open fire on coals or sticks. Let that butter melt. We're going to add some fresh thyme and some crushed garlic cloves. I added three. I've also bumped the temperature up on the pit boss to about 400 degrees. Now once that skillet gets good and hot, go ahead and drop your steak in. I was shooting for medium on these steaks, um, so I'm only going to reverse them for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half on both sides. While you're searing the one side, you can get a spoon and put some of that garlic butter and thyme uh, mixture all over the top of it. You're trying to really soak in some of that flavor from the butter. All right, after about a minute and a half or so, you can uh, flip it. Oh, oh, this time's on fire. Just throw that on the ground and stomp it out, that's okay. Alright, again, just about a minute or so on this side. We're just looking for uh, getting a nice color and nice texture on that steak with the reverse sear. It's already cooked, so we're just trying to kind of crisp it up. I went ahead and uh, sliced up about half or so of a uh, a red onion I had. I'm going to add that to the skillet here and just cook them down. And once those onions are done, the meal is complete. Hope you guys give it a try. I hope you love it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you think a buddy of yours should see this recipe, share it with them. We'll see you next time.